Hi, this is Scott Dudley, and in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can use the case when function in Looker Studio. So I've got this table here with a column on the left hand side for the date. And basically what I needed to do was extract the day of the week out of this date and show it in a, a column like you can see here. Now I'm aware that uh, in a date field, there is an option to select the day of the week in here. So if we go to date, time, day of week, I did try that, but it didn't work in this particular case. So therefore I had to use a creative method to extract the day of the week over here. So to do that, what I did was I set up this uh, field here for weekday. And if we take a look at how we've done that, that's just a function of weekday and then s date in the brackets and then the output of that shows the day of the week uh, as a number so in this particular example zero is a sunday one is a monday and so on and so forth but obviously having the number of the uh the weekday is not really ideal what i wanted was the actual day of the week whether it's monday tuesday wednesday or whatever so then to do that i had to create another column using this case when function so basically with the case when function you've got it starts off with case and then it's got when and then you have your uh your argument in here and then the word then so when this happens then it shows this text here on the right hand side okay and then what you can do at the bottom is have uh, at the very end uh, the word else where if none of these conditions are true then choose this particular option so basically what I've done here is case when the weekday which is this column here, the number is uh, zero, then I want it to show SU for Sunday, which if we have a look over here, we can see zero is Sunday. And then if it's one, then it's Monday. If it's two, then it's Tuesday. If it's three, then it's Wednesday, and so on and so forth, all the way down to number six, which is a Saturday. So then what it's done from this case when function is it's, popped in the correct day of the week okay so this shows that this email was sent out on a friday uh, and obviously this weekday here that that particular field can be hidden and then it would just show friday and then the date um, <clears throat> so it's not just text as well you can also perform mathematical uh, operations in here so what I could do instead was um, show if sent is greater than 1000, um, then do this. Otherwise, if not, then do that. There's all sorts of different things that you can do in here. It's not just limited to text parameters. You can perform mathematical operations as well. Um, and whenever you're doing these as well, if I just hit the delete key here it will show you whether the argument or the uh, what you've popped in here is actually valid or not okay so if it's not valid then you'll see that there's this syntax error and it's it shows you what is expected so it's expecting either an else which I talked about before or an end but instead it got this en but then if I put the D on the end of it then you get the green check mark, which obviously means that this is all good. So there's lots of different things that you can do here. You can explore. It's a, it's a pretty interesting feature. It's just basically a more advanced way of performing an if statement. An if statement usually is just one argument, whereas here we've got multiple. We've got one line for each day. So there's obviously seven lines here. You don't need to put the comma at the end of each line just as long as you do it in this format and usually you'll have it on each line you know it doesn't have to be 
um, where it's got when and then then and then the text and then it starts off on the next line and it's nice and easy just to copy for example if I copied that went on to the next line pasted that in and then I could easily change this number here and then I could change the text that is going to appear but this is a great way to basically make fields do what you want them to do um, and just perform you know logical arguments that end up returning the results that you've, you've popped in to the formula bar. So anyway, hopefully that's helpful. If you've got any questions with that, just let me know. Thanks.